Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan Peacock here. And in today's video, we are gonna be diagnosing a few common problems when trying the Air Rayleigh. So I'm out here right now at the beautiful Hypnotics. Liam and I are running a camp out here. And we've got a group of guys who said that they are really keen to come and learn some Rayleigh's on the System 2 today. So when we watch people learning air tricks for the first time, there's always some very common mistakes that are made. I'm sure that today, a lot of the guys on the system are gonna be making these mistakes. So I'm gonna film them, analyze what they're doing, and show you guys exactly what's going wrong so you can help troubleshoot your own air tricks problems. Make sure to quickly hit that subscribe button before we get started. There's gonna be a lot more content coming your way, and we don't want you to miss out on all the action. So, let's get started boys are ready, they're definitely scared. We're gonna get out onto the system too and let's see what they can do. So to start the session off, we had Liam go out and do a textbook Rayleigh for everybody to see. He starts with a progressive edge, slowly building his cut so the board can sit deep in the water and build line tension. His arms are in strong and hips are forward. This means that he can get the maximum line tension when edging. He uses the heel side edge to release, keeping his body strong and edging away from the cable. He then pulls the handle back down to his leading hip and bends the knees when landing. So let's take a look at one of the first examples we have here. Now this is a very classic first Rayleigh attempt. When edging, his hips could be more forward needs to drive his heels deeper into the water so his board sits deeper. And you can see here that he's trying to release off a flat board. His shoulders have come forward and all line tension is lost. This means that you're not going to get as much height as you possibly can on the Rayleigh. So let's take a look at another example. Again, looks quite similar to the first example we had. The edge is good, the board is sat deep in the water, but when it comes to the release, you can see here the hips are sagging, the arms are not strong, and the board is flat. Then when we go to release, it's almost more like ollieing off the water. We really need to keep that edge strong in the water. Here's another attempt. So, of course, not maximum height was achieved on this Rayleigh. Why was that? Now, the edge was not progressive. He drops into it far too quickly. You can see the board bouncing here, which means that the weight distribution is not quite right, and that is sometimes caused by dropping into it too fast. Another example. It looks good. But as you take a deeper look, the board is not sat deep enough in the water. Take a look at the comparison of Liam's board and this example. Liam's board is far deeper in the water, meaning that he can really hold his edge strong and build the line tension. And here we have one final example of one of the group members that made it. The edge is deep, the hips are forward, arms are strong and getting maximum pop for the Rayleigh. What an epic session that was. Everybody absolutely smashed it on their first time trying Rayleigh's. We definitely saw a few of the common problems which people face when they're trying them for the first time. If you guys have gained some insight from today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. There's gonna be a lot more coming your way and we will catch you guys in the next trick tutorial.